an unimaginable distance away in the darkness of space lies a compact group of four amazing galaxies known as the Hickson 44 group. The brightest galaxy in the group has a magnitude of 12, so it's a faint target. I was particularly interested in one galaxy within the group called NGC 3187. It's a strange looking distorted galaxy and deserves a closer look. So where is the group and when can you see it in the night sky? Well, in the northern hemisphere you can find this amazing group in the springtime in the direction of the constellation of Leo. It's the 12th largest constellation so it's quite easy to find. Just look for an asterism called the sickle. It looks like a back to front question mark and it's made up of six stars. The sickle asterism represents the head and the shoulders of the lion. The body and the tail are then quite easy to find. The stars in Leo are less than 150 light years away and are all within our own galaxy, the Milky Way. However, the Hickson Compact 44 group of galaxies are between 75 and 90 million light years away in the direction of the lion's neck. NGC 3190 is the largest galaxy in the group. It's a spiral galaxy that we see almost edge on. It's about 75,000 light years across and located about 79 million light years away. It's moving away from us at over a thousand kilometers every second. NGC 3193 is the brightest of the group. It's an elliptical galaxy about 90 million light years away. And this is NGC 3187. It's my favourite. It's a barred spiral galaxy some 85 million light years away and has clearly come off worse in the tussle between the four galaxies. NGC 3185 is also a barred spiral galaxy. It has a faint bar and is about 75 million light years away. Due to gravity, all four galaxies are interacting strongly with each other. In time, this may lead to their downfall. Simulations seem to predict that this small group will merge into an elliptical galaxy within a billion years. And one final thought. I'm always amazed that I can capture an image of an object as it was millions of years ago. The light from some of these galaxies started their journey to Earth long before the extinction of the dinosaurs. That to me is just amazing. <laughs>